Hey everybody, Nerdicane here. I'm continuing the image series. This is Pit number one. Now, Pit, I never really understood why Pit didn't take off. It was very cool, it was very edgy for the time, it was very of the time. Uh, this is Dale Keown. Dale Keown had a really great run at Marvel with The Incredible Hulk. This was his project. He was another one of those guys who uh, they, they kind of, I don't want to say poached, because poaching implies offering somebody, like, you know, when you poach an employee, you offer them a better deal, and they come work for you. I did it, we did it with a bartender one time, worked out great for us, uh, and for her. But, I guess he just moved to the greener pasture, took the opportunity at Image, so he wasn't really poached. All these, care, all these artists and writers and creators, they weren't, none of them were poached at Image. It was just, hey, we got a bunch of cool things going on here. I bet you have something cool hiding in your, your portfolio. Come over here. So that's kind of what it was. He was one of those guys who left. Changed the, I don't know if I've mentioned this in one of the other industries. Image changed the industry and probably not for the better. I mean, yes, there's Image is a way for a creator to get a creator-owned uh, property out there with the backing of Image Comics. Everybody knows Image Comics. It's, the industry is kind of the big three now because, uh, because of Image Comics. But what happened was is Marvel and down the road, you know, by everything flows downstream, DC as well. Marvel became very scared to keep, to, you know, promote an artist, to have a big name artist because they were afraid that they were gonna do them, leave them high and dry, like McFarlane, Liefeld, Lee, Sylvester, like all these guys did and, and left. So what you wind up with, they're part of the reason is, is them, is they don't wanna highlight the artist too much. The other part is Marvel is just um, doing a race to the bottom. They're getting cheaper and cheaper. Um, that's why page rates at Marvel are so bad. That's why art at Marvel is so bad right now. But anyway, I digress. Review starts at 224. Um, so this is Pit. Pit is basically uh, Alien Hulk with claws. Now, I couldn't really figure out why this didn't, why this wasn't very a, a bigger thing in the day, in the day. And then I sort of started doing a little bit of research on it. Is this went from Image and it did a bunch of, it did a, a few issues at Image, and then it moved around, it bounced around, and finally wound up at. Dale Keown's own publisher, uh, which was called Full Bleed Studios. And following the trail, Full Bleed Studio was basically Pit, him doing Pit, and this other one called Pit Crew, which I guess was like a spin-off book. Um, the entire Pit run, it started in 1993, it ended in 1999, 20 issues. If you're doing the math, that's not very good. That's about three issues per year. You get three issues from, this is a floppy. This is a normal size floppy. Um, in fact, it's, it might be a little shorter than a normal size floppy. Uh, that's not very good. But he, once again, he was a pioneer. He was pioneering what has to be done if you're, um, if you're gonna publish your own, your own work, your own creation. So it's very, it's super edgy. Um, there's credit where credit's due. Do. It's, it's super edgy in that you see a lot of darkness. He uses a lot of this silhouetting in it as well. Like, like that. Like Jim Lee would do all of that. He would do all of that detail and have very little uh, silhouette to it. But it starts out with Pitt and these bikers are passing Pitt. And Pitt is enormous. He's like 11 feet tall. He's just a mountain of muscle. So the first thing that these bikers do as they're passing by is they think, hey, let's hit it with bats. And I do like how uh, this dude's got a mace. He's just got a mace on his bike. I, I rode motorcycles for a while. There was a time period where my only vehicle was a motorcycle, and it was probably the coolest I've ever been in my life. I had my restaurant, had a motorcycle, that's all I owned. Um, and a dog named Nabiki. But... <laughs> This, uh, it's, uh, thinking about like trying to ride a motorcycle, keep it stable, keep it fast, and swing a mace, get a mace and accurately swing it at this mountain of just muscle and edginess. It's just, 
it's very fun to me, but it's very, you know, it's rule of cool. It's, it's, how do I get him into a fight? This is sort of like the opening scene where the Terminator comes back to our time in T2. You know, he's, no, in T1, in, in the, ter the Terminator, where he goes there, he's like, what does he say? I need your clothes and your bike. And everybody laughs. That's, that's sort of what this, this whole scene feels like. And the, you know, sort of, it's, it's a lot of coolness and, you know, it has a lot of role of cool, it has a lot of really cool fight scenes. It kind of shows you just how tough Pit is. It shows you a little more setup in, in the characters, but what was missing in this? And so far of all these that I've read, the art is great, the coloring is really good. Um, the story just has no connection. There's, you know, you're trying to connect with your audience and you're trying to make them empathize with with the main character, with your hero. You want them to empathize with them. Um, a lot of times, just like a lot of times in the Marvel books, we wind up empathizing with the villain. We're like, yeah, he's kind of got a point. But, you know, because their politics has just infected it so much and they're just so skewed that they wind up making villains into reasonable sounding people. But um, I, I digress. But that's what was sort of missing in it. And it's, it's in that that I realized that this is why this really didn't catch fire. This really, I mean, he's, Dale Keown's a very talented guy. Um, I don't know how much of this, of his own book he wrote because he has a writer for this, but um, he was a very talented artist. He's very good in the Marvel system. And maybe, see, once again, he's using silhouetting. But, I mean, it, it sets up a little bit of mystery to it, which I can see what he's, I can see what he's doing, but I can see the theme that he's going for. But maybe he was a guy who, you know, like Sean Gordon Murphy, a guy who's probably, as we've seen, probably thrives better in the DC universe, working, getting his own Murphy verse, because he's a big name. He was like super, he was white hot at the time. And then he did the plot holes. And the plot holes wasn't what we were expecting from him. So the sales were, I think, granted, I'm not, nobody's gonna scoff at 250,000, but he's Sean Gordon Murphy. He should have been closer to a million on that campaign. The, the product just wasn't there. Um, it wasn't what people expected, wanted from him, expected from him. But um, yeah, this is, this, and that's sort of what this is. Maybe Dale Keown in that day, maybe he's a guy who should have, you know, stuck with Marvel. You get these, like, the alien bad guys. Once again, not a whole lot of context to who they are, but they're leaving it at this cliffhanger. Um, but the problem is, there was no point where I felt that I identified with these cops who are facing them down. So I don't really, you know, I don't really feel for them. They're just cop A and cop, cop B. That's, that's really who they are. But, um... Uh, I will be doing the Max soon. Now, the Max, that, that was a cool book. Image was made for a book like the Max, and I'll get to that, that later. But um, I'm going to wrap this, with, this one up. It's really cool. It's really gorgeous. It, it looks good. Um, it's a neat concept. It could have done well, but it just didn't because of those things that I said. This is probably, like I said, this is probably the lowest rated book of these, of these, um, image books that I've seen because it just didn't, I didn't feel a connection or any attempt to really make a connection. The connection I made was, okay, Pitt is badass, um, but you don't really, there wasn't a whole lot of, of emotional content, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of connection with the reader in this. And that's sort of, maybe that's why this didn't, um, didn't really take off like all the other ones. But, I mean, just looking at this, even even though like a you know I don't want to trash it because it is it really it does look really really cool. Um, this is a lot better than a lot of things. Like you just take that scene, this fight scene. This was normal in in 1993. This is what you expected from comic books. Now go open a Captain Marvel. Go ca open a Captain America. Go open a GI Joe book. It's pastel. It's muted. It's a lot of standing around and talking. It's not a whole lot of action. It's, it's this, even though this wasn't one of the best things to come out of Image, it's still miles and miles ahead of the things that you see 
coming out of Marvel right now. But anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'm going to try to stockpile some videos so I can keep, hopefully keep you guys entertained for a few minutes a day. Um, I got strep. That's why I kind of went silent for a while. I got strep throat, and woo, it was awful. But uh, that's all I got for this one. I'm going to get some other videos coming out, and um, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Hit a like, hit a subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.